Welcome to the Bible Truth of Our Hymns. We're going to look at a hymn from a hymnal and check it to see if that hymn is biblically sound or not. There are stanzas in the hymns or words that are not correct from the Bible. We need to see that in a church where there are three types of people. Number one, they're saved and serving and loving the Lord. Number two, they're saved and they're worldly. And number three, lastly, they're lost men. Jesus said, every idle word shall man give an account. Are we proposing men and women in the church to sin by the hymns that are chosen? We will examine some, but not all, in this study. We will set a groundwork that the sin, that the sin, the hymn that we missed, you can be able to check for yourself and study yourself to see is this hymn that I like correct now not all the hymns that we're going to look at will be wrong many will be great and wonderful hymns and a few will have to be is it really proper will it glorify God or will it cause a man to sin And for today, the biblical truth of our hymns. I'm going to go with the U.S. copyright law of the fair use. And with education to bring forth something that is copyrighted to show you the biblical truth. Let's start off. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longeth after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You are my friend, and you are my brother. Even though you are a king, I love you more than anything, other so much, more than anything. I want you more than gold and silver. Only you can satisfy it. You alone are my real joy giver and the apple of my eye. Now, that's in a hymn book. And that's what we're going to look at today as the deer. But it's kind of funny that we can take this and we can put this down on paper and you could address it to a loved one. And you would not even know that this was a hymn, I assume, for Jesus. It says King, capital K. He's not my king. He's the king of the Jews. And you say, well, Stiley, I wish you'd get off that. It's the biblical truth. Jesus Christ is never king of the church. So you're stealing from the Jews. And Martin J. Nystrom, a songwriter, was born in 1956 in Seattle, Washington, to a mother who, get, who grew up in the church, in the Christian Reformed Church. His father was brought up in the Evangelical Covenant Church. After graduating from Oral Roberts University, now look at the three things there, a Christian. None of those three things ever give you biblical Bible Christianity, which decree in music education. Nystrom worked as a music director for the New York branch of Christ for the Nations. You do know that the very source of the foundation, Ezekiel 28, of music, the first song director of the Bible, was Lucifer that sat above God. And with all the cherubims and all the angels were singing a heavenly choir. And we are in a realm of music in Lucifer, Satan, the devil. As a Deer was written in 1981, in one of the most popular songs of contemporary Christian musical, CCM. All right, there we go right there. Christian contemporary music. 
So Psalms 42 verse 1. To the chief musician, Mishchul, the sons of Korah, as the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul for thee, O God. Marty's roommate at C. F. N. I. was a vibrant Christian who challenged Marty to go on a fast, thinking it would help him more recover his joy. Marty took up the challenge, and on the 19th day of the fast, he found himself sitting at a piano in a room of the school, trying to write a song. He was simply playing a chord, a chord progressions, when he noticed a Bible on the music stand of the piano. Open to Psalms 42, his eyes fell in the first verse of the chapter. After reading the verse, he began to sing his message, right off the page. He wrote the first verse of the chorus of the song practically straight through. The entire song was completed in a matter of minutes. So, again, yeah, if you were to just, you could put dear spouse, love your spouse. There's no Jesus, there's no God at all. Now, as the deer pants, he found the Bible on a table in the music room. As the deer pants, the first verse of the Bible verse that he picked up, Psalms 42, and yet the King James Bible says, as the heart pants. That Bible that was laying in the musical room was a not a King James Bible. So we are wrong already. Panteth, a long, someone. Panteth and long. Someone has the wrong Bible. Imagine a King James 1611 church singing a hymn. And the first verse or line could be said of anybody in love. And where is the name of God? And we got to get into a, we got to get into this situation if this hymn is sung in churches, and you start singing, and you begin with the first three letter words. Let me read to you. As the King James Bible, as the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. Wait a minute, wait a minute. As the King James, my soul thirsteth for thee, for the living God, when shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? Back to verse 1. As the heart panteth. The, the song. As the deer pants. Not King James. King James. After the water brooks. This song. For the water. So King James. My, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. This song. So my soul longs after you. Oh! Remove God. The Bible that, that was grabbed and used to do this song removed God, changed the word of God, and is not King James. How's that? Would you sing something in church that eliminated God? Would you look up at the pastor as he were to read Psalm 42 and it would not match your King James Bible? And yet this song is sung in churches. It's sung as special music. And it removed God. And it stops there. The rest of it's all his words.
is a capital F in friend and capital B in brother. Mark 3.35, for whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. 122 times in the New Testament, brother, and one reference is to Christ, saying that person shall be his brother. Brother, capital. God, Jesus Christ is not my brother. He's, he's my groom. He's my Savior. He's my Lord. He's my Master. Let's bring Jesus Christ down from the deity and make him a brother. Thirty time, 33 Bibles quote dear. 14 say heart. 47 Bibles over half say dear. But one truly says dear to King James 1611. So, this is one of the 33 Bibles that say deer and not heart. You say, what's the difference? I'll tell you the big difference. D-E-E-R-H-A-R-T. That's the biggest difference. That one is the word of the Lord. If the bride uses brother in the relationship to Solomon and her, her bridegroom, Song of Solomon 8.1, Oh, that thou was as my brother, as my brother. Thou sucked the breast of my mother. When I should find thee without, I would kiss thee. Yea, I should not be despised. She's liking her groom, her husband, as if they would share the unity as their mother. She's not saying he is, is her brother. He's saying as my brother. We can have the unity of the same mother, but, it's, but they're not brothers. The unity I share with Jesus Christ is not a, a mother. It's a father, Father God. And then again, there's that king. There's that king. He's not king of the church. Gold or silver? How much has Mr. Nystrom gathered for this hymn as copyrighted? Fair use. Did he give up all his gold and silver for you, whoever you are? The apple of my eye, Deuteronomy 32.10, Psalm 17.8, Proverbs 7.2, Lamentations 2.18, Zechariah 2.8, King James 16.11, Bible, please. Are you even going to bother to take the time to look at those verses? It's a common expression, you're the apple of my eye, and people don't realize that comes out of the King James Bible. His eye, the eye, and thine eye. First Israel, Jacob. Man asking God to be as. Reference to the law, Zion. Lastly, Israel, apple of my eye. Those are the references. It's his eye, the apple of the eye. The eye, the apple of the eye. Thine eye, the apple of the eye. It's first in the reference of Israel or Jacob. The next is man asking God to be as. Then there's a reference to the law, to Zion, and lastly, Israel. No wonder he says king with a capital K. You know, there are churches out there that steal from Israel, steal from the Jew, stealing the promises. God's all finished with the Jew, but for us, God's going to give us those blessings. He's going to give us, you know, great things and wonderful things. And then the chorus, you alone, I cannot hold the proper Bible. <laughs> you are my strength to shield to you alone. May my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire. And I long to worship you with a with a non with a modern Bible you think God listens to that mess when he tells you in the law 
And he tells you in the church age, and he tells you in the book of Revelation, thou shalt not add, thou shalt not diminish from my word. It's amazing in the modern Bibles, they don't change those verses, but they'll change or just remove God. It's amazing. As I said, the very first part here. Let me read from the King James. As the heart panteth after the water, water books, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. And from this hymn song, as the deer pants for water, water brooks, my soul longeth after capital Y in you. Now, just put G-O-D. And then he goes on, I long to worship you, capital Y. Just put G-O-D. What's wrong with G-O-D? Oh, that would offend somebody. We couldn't sing about God in a modern, glassy church today. Somebody would get upset. So just say you. It could be anybody. I mean, we're in the process today of Bibles removing the masculinity of God and making him a neuter. As Americans today are trying to make people, well, you're not male, you're not female, so let's do it to God too. And if that Christian contemporary music likes this, I'll tell you right then and there, I don't. And I'm not ever going to sing it. And if I in the church and they say open up as the deer, I'll just stand or sit there as they sing and, and just keep my mouth shut. That's me personally. That's my personal opinion. Now again, the fair use of this, this writing I can use to teach you and show you the error. With a King James Bible match any other modern Bible. As a Christian. Would you dare to say as far as God. You. O-M-Y. I don't think so. The world uses O-M-G. God. Savior. Jesus is God and God is Jesus. I could say you, you could write this down on a piece of paper and you can address it to a loved one. Uh, there's one place here, I mean, depending on the sex, brother. Uh, where somewhere here, I just if you're writing to a woman, I put sister. Unless you're a sodomite. But my personal opinion, I don't approve of this. No way. Not anybody that does not quote the King James Bible, which is the inerrant word of God, and then replace God. G-O-D. That's how it falls.